Hello. Am I still cutting out? <laughs> Hopefully people are still here. Uh, da -da -da. It's still cutting out? Oh, it's fixed? You sound human? Nice. Okay, I'm not sure why resetting my computer fixed that, but... Super sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Every time, there's something wrong with my audio. Um, yeah, let me catch up. <laughs> um, what did I miss? McCorder, thank you for the follow. Norcon, tier 1 sub. Thank you so much. I think you're the second sub. Someone unfortunately already took the first spot, but... X Caster Boris, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Rhythm underscore, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Whew. Okay. I think we are done. Okay, glad to hear it's fixed. Nathan, before you start, could you get a close up of the CA66? Oh, shoot. Yeah, here you go. This is my CA66 with the cable. Um, I also got the titanium badge CI Jansen, but I left it as the gold. I think it looks nicer. There you go. Okay, wow. Um, Salier IMH, I Ascendant. Thank you guys so much for the um, Twitch Prime donations. Irene Nathan is like TT. <laughs> is that a is that GIF and the follow notification sound working? Hopefully you guys can hear that in the background. In Sovereign, twenty dollar donation. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm not partnered. I'm an affiliate. But man, you're you are something else. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Okay, I am pretty late because I had um, some technical difficulties, but as you guys saw in the title, no custom, no high-end custom today, but we're going to be doing something that maybe a lot of us haven't seen before in a while, I guess. Um, we're going to be modding the HHKB. So all of these were bought brand new, I believe, and sent to me to modify. So we're going to be 55 dome swapping it 55 gram dome swapping it from the real force 87u we're going to be silencing it as well with the kvd fan silence x rings we're going to put in sorbethane at the end we're also going to be lubing it with trebosis 3204 so let's go straight into it um, i'm probably going to extract the 55 gram domes after I lube the sliders. So, unboxing of an HHKB Pro 2. Irene, why my Twitch Prime sub never show up? Re. Doesn't say you're subscribed with Twitch Prime. You lie. Wiz X Blue, this works better for you in the EU? Oh, glad to hear. <laughs> it is a little bit late for, I think, um, US people, but glad you can make it. Stock cable. We still have the HHKB wrapped in its glory. Force. <laughs> I'm not going to read that out loud. <laughs> I got to be more careful after last time's stream. To got to think before I talk. <laughs> but uh Yeah, I enjoy watching your conversation with 
big moist. <laughs> oh, I guess I should give a. That's what a stock 45 gram Topra sounds like. Yeah, brand new, untouched. Irene sub only chat when is that is that a Twitch feature or what? Oof, Mega Force with the tier one sub. Thanks a lot, man. Mega Force Daisuke. Is the uh, is the follow GIF and sound notification working? Should have a new gift for follows or sub sub subs, I think. Mega Force, I want to stroke Nathan Kim and Irene. <laughs> Nor Calamito, you can do that. GIF, yes, but you don't hear. You didn't hear. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Rhythm, you heard the sound, hear someone sub so we can test it. out the caps this has screws <clears throat> electric screwdrivers are pretty clutch when it especially when it comes to Topra because there's so many screws Rhythm, are you gonna put MX stems in? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, it's just gonna be a 55 gram dome swap. Uh, I'm gonna lube it and silence it. Mega Force. <laughs> oh no, you should sub to both. <laughs> Are you still not allowed to chat on stream over there?
the homie 408 thank you so much for the twitch prime didn't realize a lot of people were gonna sub today uh, there should only be one screw if i remember yeah Sub sounds work? Okay, that's glad to hear a rhythm. I think it's just linked with my um, background music, so let me know if I could bump if I should bump up the background music or if it's too loud. Look at all these screws. This is where this comes in handy. But I think the real force has more than this. Where are the Nathan Kim emotes, Irene? Uh should probably hold some kind of competition, right? This is why is this so weak? Why is this just in there tight? You want red velvet emotes. So the thing is I only have one slot. So it's gotta be one really good emote. just want one member of Red Velvet or one emote with all the members in it. It'll be too small though if you put all the members in there. CI Jensen, thank you for the tier one sub. Rhythm, we need NK spec. <laughs> Irene, Nathan Kim emote contest. Winner gets free board built. You mean I build it for free or like I actually give them a board as well? I'm down for a free board build as long as they provide me the board. Yeah, that sounds like a good um, reward for the emote contest. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. Just gotta figure out how to set up the whole contest and whatnot. Nathan the robot emote. <laughs> what would that look like though, CI Jansen? Wiz Wiz Wix Z Blue. What are we doing to this poor HHKB? Uh, I'm first taking it apart so I could lube the sliders and silence it as well. And then we're also gonna 55 gram dome swap it. Yeah, Jansen, it would look like me. Okay. Yeah, if someone's willing to Photoshop something like that, it'd be interesting to see what it looks like. Okay. Took off all the screws. Can I take it apart without... Actually, it doesn't matter if I mess up the domes because I gotta replace it. Nice! Gonna set this apart as well. Um, so how I take off my Topper sliders you could honestly just use your fingers, I think, yeah. But, um, I just take the back of a sharpie that fits right in there. And just pop it up.
and as for the stabs, I'll deal with them later. Oh, let's see how long looting takes today. I'm um, first gonna install the Silence x rays It's been a while since I've looped Topra, so we'll see. What am I lubing the board with? Um, Trebosis 3204, Irene. C.I. Jansen, am I getting a Tokyo? Um, I didn't join round one and I most likely won't join round two. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have seen my mech market posts, but I've pretty much sold off any board that's smaller than a TKL right now. And I'm also trying to sell some other boards as well. Um, but yeah, I think the only... Other than the CA66, my meme, and the HHKB, I don't own any small form factor boards anymore. But uh, I am looking to replace them. A virtues, these rings silence the upstroke? Yes, that is correct. Um, so some people have complained that the silence X-rings, they slide up the sliders and then come out to bind against the keycap or something like that. I've personally never had that issue. Um, I'm wondering if those people complaining actually put the, these rings like all the way flat, all the way at the bottom. That's what I'm doing right now and I did for all my previous Topra boards. Um, yeah, it's been almost half a year since I've been using them. I haven't had one single key with the rings slide up. So I don't know, maybe I'm not sure if I'm just lucky or people install them incorrectly. What is this number? 6543-643-6634, thank you so much for the follow. Salier me MH, am I getting a Doro 67? Uh, most likely not. The only 65% board that's catching my eye right now would be the Q, which hasn't happened or started yet. Rhythm, TKL life, yeah, TKL. I think I think the majority of my custom collection right now is our TKLs. Um, did I see the Taobao Salamander? I think so. It's it's been up for a while, right? Yeah, I have seen it. Um, the weight on that looks uglier in my opinion because they made the weight smaller than the original weight. Um, what else was different about it? Don't remember, yeah. But the, the weight on the fake one, I think it's actually like significantly smaller than the OG Salamander. Wix Z Blue. People are just bad at modding and building boards. The amount of solder horror you see on RMK. 
Yeah. Salier I M H. Save up for Q or Jane two. Save up for Porque Nolos Dos. Get both. Different form factors though, so Jane VT is gonna be a TKO. Wix Z Blue E7 V1 also have that salamander weight design. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't think it's the Salamander is the first to do that design though. There's definitely been boars before it that have done the weight the same way. But yeah, E6, E7 B1 definitely has the same design as Salamander in terms of the weight. CI Jansen, is there a Jane interest check right now? Um, yeah, I don't think there is, but um, Yuxi has been teasing a lot of pictures on his Instagram as well as on KB Customs. I think he actually posted a new pic today on KB Customs. He had like a he showed like a pretty good shot of what the bottom is gonna look like as of now. With the uh, whole um, it's like a triple weight design or something. He had it in like a very nice blue color. iFusion5194 You have a chance to pick up a working IBM5155 for 275 What is the... I, I'm not too familiar with that board, could you link me? It's a buckling spring capacitive, okay uh, I actually don't know what it looks like Some major... some yellowing, no major cosmetic blemishes yeah, I don't, I don't recall what that is off the top of my head. If you could link it so I could take a look. Oldcomputers.net Oh, okay. Um, is it 275 for just the board or with the whole monitor, the screen and everything? Whole computer including board. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I'm I'm not too familiar with the market price for that, but definitely not as white as the ones pictured. Is it an does it work? Can you power it on and does it work? 83282, hey, glad you could join the stream. Yeah, so when I install these rings, I make sure the ring is like sitting actually like completely flush to the bottom. You guys can see that. It is working. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I honestly don't know the market price for that particular model, so don't want to make you overpay. But if it's in working condition and it includes the whole thing, doesn't sound terribly bad to me. I feel like vintage stuff definitely has gotten more expensive nowadays.
it's Croy planning on getting Real Force R2 PFU. Uh, probably not. It's not a huge priority for me. Yeah, not a huge priority for me. Maybe if I can find one for cheap on mech market, but most likely won't, even if I do find it for a good price. It's a lot of monies. Are you planning on getting it, it's Kuroi? Salier, I... MH... Yeah, I did get a fume extractor. Um, actually helps a lot, yeah. I have been liking it. It was relatively cheap too, I just got one off uh, Amazon. Um, works great. But I also haven't used like the super professional multi thousand dollar solder fume extractors. But I don't think I need something like that. <laughs> A3282, yeah, I will be using um, Trebosis 3204 to lube this today. CI Jansen. Ooh, your burgundy telephone cable came in yesterday. It's gonna look sweet. Ooh, nice. Are you planning on making a build log of sorts detailing how you are gonna convert it? Because that would be pretty cool to share and learn from, I think. Also, excited to see the end product as well. It's Croy, yours came in on Saturday. Probably the best stock Topra board you've used. Okay. Even more than the HHKB and the previous Real Force 87U. You think it's better stock than those two? Chubies, hey, glad you could make it. <laughs> Your stream is my midnight snack. What are you doing up at 12 a.m. over there? Oh, you're gonna sleep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> Rhythm, you're planning on getting a Thalamander. What color should you get? Ooh, I don't know. I don't remember what the Anno looks like on the Thalamander. I thought I saw like a dark navy color on the Taobao page. That color looked pretty decent. It's Croy. You like the you like the Real Force R2 PFU more than the stock HHKB and 87U. Okay, that is interesting to hear. How do you like that um, the silencing pad that they have? I think that's new, right? A Virtues 5 a.m. Wow, why are you up so early? Or late, I guess. The Asian Asian, hey, glad you could join the stream. I Fusion five one nine four. Anyone tried those? Creamy linear switches from Play Keyboard. Uh, I have not. <laughs> 
Waffle High is the only difference between the standard HHKB and the Type S, the pre-installed rings. Um, pre-installed rings plus the Type S has slightly longer sliders to account for the thickness of the ring because the ring reduces travel by a little bit. But otherwise, yeah, same same board. A virtue's been up all night. I just have a scuffed sleep schedule because most of my friends are in different time zones. Oh man, that sucks. But um, respect for staying up for your friends so you can communicate with them despite the time zone difference. Okay, let's see this link you sent me. Rhythm. Uh, no, that is not the link. That is not the picture I was thinking of. That looks more like a gray. I thought there was a navy color, no? I mean, was that the blue? Yeah, that first pick, that that blue looks nice. Or is that not? Is that just a bad, poorly lighted picture? I like that like gray bluish color. Yeah, that's. Rhythm. You think it's just shitty lighting. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Cause uh, I, I think that that blue looks nice, or at least what it appears to be blue in shitty lighting. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I really liked that poor lighting blue. <laughs> I think it's a nice shade of blue. Um, 83282, what do you think of the BK domes from Keyclack? So I've only tried the um, BK Redux Lite. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. But I do think I still prefer just normal Topra domes better. It, yeah, it was a little bit too tapped out for me. But it, definitely that's what some people prefer. Hey KB Warriors, glad you could join the stream. Hey NorCal Meetup Pipe, yes, I should talk about that too. Yeah, um, if you guys don't know, I forgot if it was today or yesterday, the NorCal meetup location date has been announced. So there is a post on Keep Talk and Reddit, um, RMK, so do go there. Um, there should be a 
survey for just interest um, for whether you intend to come or not and that would greatly help the organizers to get an estimate for you know how many food trucks to hire if they're doing food trucks or whether like how many tables they need how many chairs they need so yeah it would greatly help and if you're also available to volunteer that would be great as well last year's turnout was huge so we are expecting a bigger turnout this year KB Warriors, are you going to the NorCal meetup? I'm guessing you are because you said NorCal meetup pipe. Um, but yeah, it will be on November 10th. From, was it 10 to 5, I think? Wix Z Blue, have I tried the 65 gram Hansung domes? No, I have not. So I haven't tried any of like the plum keyboards the Nopra or the Hansung, just normal Topra, the OG Topra. Ooh, nice. Maybe I could finally meet you in person, KB Warriors. <laughs> yeah, if you guys already don't follow KB Warriors on Instagram, you guys should go check it out. He does. Do you post daily? I think you post daily but yeah he gathers some of the best keyboard pictures and posts to make your Instagram feed look all pretty and nice with good looking builds sudden zenith has he lubed the stabs yet no I haven't I haven't lubed anything yet I am installing the Silence X rings first. Cool, you need to see how I do it because your spacebar is making you crazy. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, this stream can serve as a guide in the future for how I loop Topper Stabs. Troy, the only poop part about modding Topra is making sure the domes are properly seated or the springs drive me crazy. Yeah, that's true, but honestly, aligning the domes isn't too hard. I would also much rather loop Topra than MX switches. It's a lot easier to loop Topra in my opinion. And Lubing Topra is also more forgiving. Skirtus McGirtus. <laughs> what an interesting name. Um, what am I modding? So I am... Today I'm going to be modding the HHKB. I am currently installing Silence X-Rings right now. Um, and then I'm going to lube the board with Trebosis 3204 and then install 55 gram domes and that is what we're doing today. Um, so I have a question for chat. So some people say that for Topra, you don't need to lube both the slider and the housing. What do you guys do? Do you guys lube just the slider, just the housing, or both? The Homie 408. What are your thoughts on TX boards? And more specifically, the TX60. Ooh, good question. Uh, I like TX boards. I really do. 
The only reason I don't own one is because um, just the aesthetics. I mean, it, it's a nice looking board. It's well built. Um, the anno on it is great. I I just personally am not the biggest fan of the aesthetics of it, which is why I personally don't own any. But yeah, I would. They're great boards. I would I would put them at like. It would be like among like the high tier boards. I would put them t closer to the lower end for me amongst the high tier high end game boards. But yeah, they're they're solid boards. It's KB Warriors, you sort of had a problem lining up the mod domes on the RF108. Did you make sure to align it with like the two um, cutouts? I guess I don't know what they're called. Curtis McCurtis. Thank you. I strive to be unique. That sounds awesome. So do you mod basically everything? I do, except for my vintage boards. Any vintage board that I own, I keep it as is. But yeah, any modern custom, I will mod it. Guaranteed. <laughs> It's Croy. You only just rails on housing? What do you mean just rails on housing? Salier, you just lube the rails. Oh, ra rails on the housing. Okay, I see, I see. I see what you're saying. Shouldn't really need to loop slider. Okay, yeah, that's what I did for my HHKB as well. I'm uh, just curious what people's thoughts are. Salier IMH. Thoughts on QXP? Um, I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> it's done by a Quantric. And Quantric's factory seems to be pretty on point with Anno. Yeah, and at least from the colors that he's teased, colors seem pretty great too. Yeah, the QXP looks pretty good. Really looking forward to his Q to be released. Uh, some people have received protos, and so far, they have all spoken extremely highly of it. And I really do also like the look of the Q. And a lot of people are dying for it to be released. So we'll see. Huh. I should not have cut my nails before the stream. <laughs> it's making putting this on a little bit harder. The Raisin Asian, have you lubed the cream switches yet? Or are you still breaking it in? Yeah, still breaking it in. I will probably... Um, probably desolder it over the weekend, um, and then lube it. Yep, and then rebuild it, use it for a couple days. I don't think I need another whole week to test out the lube switches. And then try to push out the video on it as soon as possible. KB Warriors, it took you two tries but in the end worked out. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's all that matters as long as it worked out. <laughs> I 
Crowbit, good night. Have a good night, Crowbit. Skirtus McGirtus, you have never modded a board. Hey, that's okay, man. A lot of people actually don't mod their boards. Uh, it's a mix of just not knowing how to, or just not caring. <laughs> but one, once you do mod your board, it's hard to go back to an unmodded board in my opinion. In my opinion. Who knows, some people might not care as much about their keyboards, so... KB Warriors, this song? You're asking what this song is? Um, hopefully it hasn't skipped since you asked. Um, this is called Chill by Joaquim Karud. Let me link his SoundCloud. NGB, hey, glad you could join the stream. Norba Force typing test anytime soon, yes. Except I am waiting for my Norba Force to ship. <laughs> I got the powder coat retro refrigerator, um, which is taking a little bit longer than the anodization, the anodized uh, real Norba Forces, so yeah. NGB, you just modded your 87E today. Oh, nice. Lube and added X rings. <laughs> what a coincidence. What did you uh, lube yours with? And what is it the 45 gram 87U or 55 gram? Chenny Pug donated five dollars. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Duoma, du, Duoma, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Jubei509, can I link the SoundCloud? Yes, there is the SoundCloud link. NGB 55 gram and 105, okay. How do you like the 105 on Topra? I have never used 105 on Topra. Love it. That's good to hear. Hey, Quantric, how are you doing? I was just praising your boards earlier on stream. <laughs> yeah, did, there is the man himself, Quantric. If you guys have any questions about the QXP, there you go. You could personally ask him. You are Quantric's biggest fan. No, that's me, man. I love Quantric. X Caster Boris, you lube your HHKB with Super Lube. Okay, I also haven't tried Super Lube on Topra. NGB, you put some pics on a and a quick typing test in Anthony's Discord. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go check that out later. And there's uh, my my Discord list. The sidebar is so long now, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> yeah, I think just just last week I joined like four Discord servers or something. Too many Discord servers. Quantric, no please, I'm on mobile. <laughs> are you out drinking, Quantric? Or are you out and about at this late? Hour on a Tuesday. Can I get a finger heart for donating? Ooh, donator asked me for a favor. 
Yeah, I have to because you donated. Asian finger heart, here you go. Quantric laying on the couch. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, I think that's Jubei. Your screen name is super bright green on my computer. You just lubed about a hundred vintage blacks over the weekend. Literally took you all day. <laughs> yeah, lubing, lubing is very... It's the most time-consuming part of any build, in my opinion. C Ping, favorite unmodded out the box linear. Uh, pretty easy. These uh, novel key cream switches right here. I think stock. They are one of the best switches you can use. Radical Randy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate it a lot. X Caster Boris MX Reds. No, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Once these cream switches go live, I think they will be pretty popular. Um, especially for people who aren't looking to lube their switches and just using things stock. I think these are definitely one of the best options out there that will be available soon. I haven't lubed them to see how they feel lubed. There's, there's been some mixed reviews on how they are lubed from what I've gathered from other people who have gotten into the sample batch. So we'll see. But stock, yeah, they're pretty good switches. Set in Zenith, are they smoother than Telios? I can't say, I still haven't used Telios to this day. But uh, yeah, I, sh I, sh I should buy some Telios and do a build with it. For one of my personal builds. I'm thinking maybe putting Telios in my jet fire? What do you guys think? Seeping, those creams might dethrone my modded Norbit touch. For my DD? The creams aren't um, tactiles though, your normal touch is a tactile switch. How wobbly are the creams? Let me try to show you this. So I have cream switches right here. Honestly, not too wobbly. Oh, how are the cream springs? So, so far, using these stock, these springs are the only gripe I have with it. The springs are terrible for sound. They feel great, but sound? I don't like it. You can definitely hear... It's not grinding, I would say. I, I would call it more of a crunch. Yeah, you can definitely hear something going on with the springs. Um, but in terms of feel, it's good. Ooh, Zeo PC. Hey, glad you could join the stream. What bet are you talking about? Pluto 19. OH sounds terrible. No bueno. What is OH? Quantric forgets about hustling me? No, I never forget about you, Quantric. Your boards are always on my mind. <laughs> your boards and your face, especially after your face reveal. Always on my mind. And your voice too, actually. Could you wear your glasses on your next stream? I want to see those hipster glasses you wear. That you teased in your first ever stream that you did. I think it was your first ever. Pluto19, you think just touching the springs up with lube will help get rid of it? I'm not too sure. I haven't um, played around with it. But I mean, generally, I don't like any stock spring. <laughs> 
but I mean yeah I mean with definitely with enough lube you could fix any crunching or ping I think but then you might compromise the feel Zeo PC I heard Nathan Kim needs some Telios yes I do <laughs> I do need some Telios Quantric? Dude, don't lie, they weren't safety glasses. I know you're into that fashion game, Quantric. <laughs> the homie 48, who is my spring plug? Where do I get my springs from? So, I used to use sp Sprit Springs. Um, haven't bought from him in a while. I got a bunch from Krellbit, who got the springs from uh, Cat Wee Wee. So I've been using those for now. Quantric, please, they were. Yeah, you lie. Don't lie, Quantric. Stop trying to be humble. Zeo PC, I'll th throw in some with that other thing. Ooh, okay, yeah. Be better to save on shipping. Oh shoot. While Zeal sending Nate sending a Zephyr to N Kim. Could it be a Zephyr? Eggplant Zephyr, yeah that purple looks really nice. Helios on a five millimeter five millimeter plate. Oh dang. Pluto, love your gray zephyr. First ever custom and totally set the bar pretty high. Yeah, you you went all out for your first custom. <laughs> but definitely a great board. I personally haven't felt the zephyr myself, but from what I've heard, that anno looks amazing. At least I can tell as far as I can tell from pictures. But yeah, I haven't met a single person who complained about their Zephyr so far. <laughs> Zeal PC, oof, sorry for ruining all other kits for you. <laughs> yeah, and that, that packaging. That's gotta be one of the best, if not the best packaging to date that I have seen for a custom keyboard. Last switch to silence. And then got a lube. Let's see how long it takes me to lube. ETA on Zeal TKL. That's interesting. Zeal TKL. Trick baby, I can help you lube real fast. <laughs> I also have to silence the stabs.
Yeah, I'll do stabs later. Just kidding. No, I won't. Caster Boris, one day you will be able to afford a Zephyr. Maybe 10 years in the future. I don't know, man. 10 years in the future? Who knows what seal might have invented by then? Trick. Boy, you know they just safety glasses. Oh shoot, it is. <laughs> no, you lie. You own that and a fashionable all clear glasses. I know you. Okay, time to start lubing. The part I hate most about any build, the looting. Trebosis 3204 Quantric, I'm gonna need that um that lube plate you use too. I hate having to fish out thick lube on small vials like this. And it gets all over like your brush where you don't want it to be. KB Warriors, gotta love the lube. Just relax. ZOPC, you've always called it. Tribosis because tricycle. Huh, okay. Is it tribosis or I feel like tri tribosis sounds cooler though. Tribosis sounds kinda whack. Q, you'll send one or Quantric, you'll send one with the Q shipping tomorrow. Ooh. Exciting. Okay, so what I do. When I'm using th something thicker like 3204, uh, I have about that much lube on a fairly thin brush. Yeah, so when I use thick lube, I my ordering is slightly different. When I'm using something thin, thin like VPF 511514, I just kind of do one side and do the other side. Um, but with thicker lubes, it's slightly different. So when you first stab off the vial, that's when you have the most amount of lube on your brush. So you don't want to lube one side completely and then go to the other side because if you lube one side completely, you're going to have used up a lot of your lube for that. And then when you go over to the other side, there won't be as much left. So what I do is I just take this and I dab about what I think is half of what I had on that little tip. And then I take that remaining other half and then dab it on the other side. And then I start brushing them in. 
but, but with something thinner like 15, 14, that doesn't really matter because it's pretty viscous. But uh, I think it matters a lot more with something thick like this. Just applied it to here. After lubing it with thick, thick lube, you shouldn't be able to see any white marks. You should just kind of rub it in until it kind of disappears, so to say. Just get a small little dab like that. Dab half of that amount into one side. So you see how there's still a little bit left that's visible. And then put it back on the other side. And then you can start rubbing both sides in. Zeo PC 3204, pretty thin. Is it? I feel like by community standards, it's barely thick. No? People were complaining 3204 was thin, so they. Probit made on um, 3203, I thought. Pluto19, you're making me feel bad for not re-lubing my 87U. You can always re-lube whatever. As long as you lubed it one side, once it's fine. Jubei 519 Need to get me some more loop from Zeal Yes, you should Thick is when you get sound dampening from loop 3204 doesn't achieve that. Really, I feel like 3204 dampens. I feel like all lube dampens sound to some degree. It's cool. I just dunk the top case in 205 grade zero. Pluto 19, oh, not that I'm into silent switches, but any ETA on Helios. I haven't heard Zeal talk a lot about Helios in a while. Zeal PC, sounds like I need to show NK what thick sound and feel is like. Before end of year. Ooh, yes, please do. Zeal. I mean, I, I have tried 205, and that is definitely thick. Three two oh five is thick shit. Quantrix says, I haven't used 3205. Is 3205 thicker than 205 grade zero? This music. Halloween funk. No. Oh no, what is this? Uh. 
three two five is two zero five grade zero. Oh. C ping zero five K pop. I don't know if I can use K pop, wasn't because I intend to upload the VODs. I feel like I, I don't want to run into any copyright issues or like music licensing issues. Cause then you're gonna have a VOD with no sound. Caster Boris, you want to try some thick lube on linears just for fun? Yeah, I think thick lube is best for linears. Thick lube on linears is definitely nice. Are the case screws on your site magnetized? They aren't magnetized, but they are magnetic.
for Asian Asian people who ship non-magnetic screws with cases are pure evil. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Zeal PC, Nathan, you didn't align the nib on the tote rope plugged to face the same way. Yeah, I don't care too much for the nib. I mean, it gets broken after a few read, after a few times of taking it out. So. A virtues, man, there's something oddly relaxing and wholesome about keep modding streams. Build logs, they just feel nice and warm to watch. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Bunch of numbers. Which nylon washers do you use with screw and stabs? Oh, um, I don't have the link for it on hand. If you PM me on Discord, I will get that to you after the stream. I should include that in my um, tools list that I use. It's off Amazon. It's fairly cheap. But yeah. Just message me on a... Okay, looks like Droke got a link for you. C-Ping, you should mirror your webcam so all the text on your shirt isn't backwards. <laughs> I will consider that next time. Nylon washers, can't we just use electrical tape? Yes, you can, Pluto. Um, it's just electrical tape, you have to cut it, whereas nylon washers, you don't have to cut it, you just put it on the screw and that's it. I prefer nylon washers or just washers in general. Over, I used to do electrical tape and then I switched to the washers. PC, it's not an issue on RGB PCBs. <laughs> the Asian Asian electrical tape is trash. Yeah, and with electrical tape, you also have to worry about it not fitting sometimes. It starts like rotating and stretching and ripping as you screw it in. I think. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But yeah, I do prefer washers a lot more. Is that Vincy Green? Man, Twitch colors are sometimes terrible. Stock domes and sliders. Uh, stock sliders, I will be using 55 gram domes from a Real Force 87U that I have next to me. I will be transplanting the domes into here.
the Asian Asian, have I tried vintage rubber dome boards like BTC? Uh, I did. I did when I... Oh yeah, when, when we visited Hata. Hata and I had a little session while you guys were all talking together. Yeah. And he showed me this like really OG Topra stuff. Or it's not Topra I think, but some dome keyboard. And I think that was the best tactile switch I have ever felt. But I don't remember what the name is. But it wasn't Topra. Put that keyboard in your IG story, right? Lol sounded pretty nice. Yeah, I did. That is the one I put on my Instagram story. It had like blue and gray keycaps and it was connected to a terminal. And man, that, that board was the best feeling board I have ever felt in my life. The Raisin Asian. Oh, wait, sorry. Vincey Green, I saw a post on RMK of some guy lubing his PCB for the new FC 60C. Um, I think, yeah, nothing wrong with lubing the PCB, although I think Quantric does that too, or he did that in his Alice stream. But I don't, I don't know what, I don't know where he lubed. Obviously makes a difference where he loops. For what reason? <laughs> the Raisin Asian, you kinda hope you can hit up we can hit up the IC headquarters when the meetup happens. Yeah, that'd be definitely cool to check out their um, new headquarters, new locations. Cause their old one was pretty sweet. Jim Shady, congrats on the affiliate, Nathan. Thank you so much. Um, oh wow, you also subscribe with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Thank you so much for the subscription. Pluto, he literally brushed his PCB with lube and said it made it better. <laughs> Literally his entire PCB. Oh man. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, NGB Discord link. Um, if you go to the about page of my Twitch um, that you're watching right now, it should have the panels, and one of them should be my uh, Discord and then it should link you to there. virtues might make sense around the standoffs of edges but the whole PCB yeah no <laughs> yeah I agree with you on that as well yeah 
you linked the post. I will try to take a look at it after the stream. <laughs> Quantric, I do it right under the stabs. I don't know about the whole thing. Yeah, I saw you do it on your Alice build stream. Under the stabs makes a lot more sense than the whole PCB. <laughs> no, that's terrifying. I will never lube my entire PCB. When will people start lubing keycaps? Uh, some people do. You know, if you do the bag, if you lube using the bag method, you are technically lubing the, the, the what is the crucifix of your keycaps. So I guess not the entire keycap, but you are lubing a portion of it. Lube your screws. That's that's meta right there. So in chat, are there any out-of-state folks who are planning on coming over to the NorCal meetup? Because some people definitely travel for these kinds of stuff. ZL, what video is this? I am modding an HHKB. Um, earlier, I installed Silence X-Rings on the sliders. Now I am lubing it. And once that's done, I will be installing 55 gram domes on it. That is what we are doing today on stream. Jayun, hey, glad you could join. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't, no worries about forgetting to host. Not a problem at all. Were you streaming yourself playing StarCraft 2? Vincy Green, on another note, are box switch stems fixed as of lately? Um, I know Novel Keys is starting to restock the new ones. I don't know how many of the variants on this website are currently fixed. But yeah, vendors are starting to get the, uh, the fixed box switches. Jayun, although you don't know how many people will go from StarCraft to keyboards. <laughs> That's true. You can be the messenger. Teach them about how much a good custom makes your APM improve by 25%. Which will hopefully help you win, although APM doesn't correlate to victory.
Pluto, you're only in SoCal, but you can't the NorCal meetup. That's a shame, man. It's the biggest meetup. <laughs> I feel bad about people who bought mo who mass bought box, which is Vincy Green says. Yeah, that's a shame. Also feels bad for anyone who put extremely nice sets on box caps this whole time. Too school for cool, you have pretty hands. <laughs> Thank you. A bunch of numbers. What are you going to do with the 87U after you harvest the domes? Um, so this is not for me. This is a customer build. I will be shipping it all back to them. Who knows what they will do with that. Fully zeal. I thought you were watching a video, what the? but you're actually the one doing what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> this is a live stream. Pluto, I got 70 useless DIY Hawker Royal clear sitting in a tub. <laughs> the Asian Asian. I put all my box switches and cooler masters and magic forces and use the OEM caps. Yeah, imagine like you bought box switches um, and you had you had put like SA Camping or SA Grand Budapest on there this whole time, just happily typing away. Feels bad, man. Luckily, I did not have any my like top tier sets on there at least fully zl any good cheap mechanical keyboard you recommend um what is your budget for cheap uh, at least if you're talking like sub 100 um am pro i guess or i i personally like the roseville keyboard the entry keyboards from roseville thought those were pretty good Vincy Green, you don't really feel like driving up six hours. That's fair. <laughs> Although you can fly, it shouldn't be too expensive. Are flights expensive now by now? Croy, your 9009 is a box set exclusive now. <laughs> Feels bad. Your XDA 8 bit as well. GG. <laughs>
Your OG double shots are maxed up after having box navies on them for 12 hours. Yeah, rip your OG double shots. Thank you so much for the follow. Jay Yoon, so what mod are you doing on the HHKB right now? So earlier, I put Silence X-Ring on all of the sliders. I'm currently lubing them now with Trebosis 3 tool 4. And then after that, I'm going to install 55 gram domes on there. NGB Varmillo or Leopold? Ooh, I personally like Leopold. Got some OG from the last group I ran on Geekak. You recently just put 55 gram in your 104 UK. Oh, nice. Gotta rep those Korean hunger sub legends. X caster boards, is there a big difference in those domes or is it just the weight? Uh, in my opinion, yes, there is a big difference. Um, obviously the weight, but the feeling is also, the, the tactility is different as well. The 55 grams are more tactile in my opinion. It's Croy, my girly fingers can't handle the 55 gram. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, uh, 55 gram isn't for everyone. I mean, some people even find the 45 grams on Topra too heavy. So they turn to the 35 gram Topra. Fully Zeal, what keyboard is that in front of you? This is the CA66 that you're seeing here. NGB big dick stems <laughs> with the emote game. And GB 55 gram are a little more crisp, but you like 45 gram too. Yeah, I agree. And the 45 grams are very easy to type on. I would probably recommend 45 gram to someone who's just starting off on mechanical keyboards more than the 55 gram. Quantric, how do you feel about exclusives new board? I like it. Are you talking about the E7 V1? If so, yeah, I, I, I do like, definitely like it. It's going to be hard deciding between that and the Xeno if the Xeno happens this year. Yeah, I saw the pictures of the protos that he received and looks pretty good. Vinci Green, I feel bad for giving my sis a key with greens because now she's like the t heaviest typer ever. <laughs> well, she could move up to the Mega Blacks. And then there's even one more higher after the Mega Blacks, right? Like Super, super Black or Super Mega Black or something? Or did I get the ordering wrong?
Quantra, yes. Oh yeah, guess I got it right. You like it, okay. When When is the Quantric 75% happening? I want a Quantric 75%. And since you're using Japanese for your 65%, can you do can you make a Korean Um, which colors that everyone like on the E7 V3 Protos? Sorry, yeah, Pluto says Krobit had them 300 gram or whatever blacks, right? Yeah, I think they were 350 actually. I could be wrong, but I thought they were 350. Pluto, Quantrix got some clean designs. Yes, he does. He, he actually streams now too. You guys should go check him out. His latest stream... He actually revealed how he goes about designing a keyboard, so very cool stuff. We need more content like that. And then Heine also streamed um, himself designing a PCB. It's definitely more technical, but you know, it's nice to see things like that. Stuff that you normally don't see by a lot of people. T TTY Lair Durdens. Thank you so much for the follow. Seven, you left control is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> it's Kuroi. Dark green and dark blue look A plus. Yeah, I agree. Um, I th yeah, I think those two were probably my top, and then the the silver or gray whatever looked pretty nice, and then the purple. Yamato 2k2 have I lubed the stabs yet no I haven't I'm gonna do all the alphas first and then do the stabs that's what I normally do when I lube Topra Thank you so much for the follow. Pluto, you really liked the purple E7. It was a really nice royal purple. Yeah, I'm not that big of a purple fan. <laughs> I know our community has a 
somewhat of a hard on for purple, but not my top choice of color, to be honest. It's Kuroi. I hope more low angled keyboards come out. What are the ones currently out right now? The CA66. What else? Vinci Green, I don't know, it seems everyone loves orange. You know, orange also not my favorite color. Fox Leaf just finished, E7 V1. What was the angle of the uh, Fox Leaf? Pluto19, our community has an odd fetish of purple as of the past year or so. Although I'm not one to speak, lol, I got a purple Norba Force. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at first it was because there weren't many purple things. But I feel like now there's... Purple definitely isn't rare anymore, I would say. Quantric, all about that blue-gray, baby. Yeah, blue-gray is nice. Fox has a 5.5 .5 angle. Wow, okay, that's pretty... That's pretty low compared to a lot of angles out there. The Asian Asian, we need more negative angle boards. Like the Kinesis? I agree. I would like to see more negative angle keyboards. how to do the thriller. Okay, done with oh, the alphas. It's Croy, you nab the leaf in electrophoresis white. Glad to see how it turned out. Yeah, that looked nice in the picture. GB, we don't need negativity in this hobby. <sighs> How is everyone's night going? Or morning, I guess? Okay, so who was it? Was it Sudden Zenith that asked about stabs? So for stabs, you obviously want to lube the uh, side railings as well, since that's where the stab makes contact. So I will do that now with 3204.
Yeah, so you just need to lube these sides on the stabs. This is the stab and it sits in there like this. So just where the ends of the stab would rub against. You lube that with whatever your normal lube is. So I will do that right now. Asian Asian, you finished lubing your retold blacks but ran out of switch films. Feels bad. Are they still in stock on Kin's website? Go to driver, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Oh, I forgot to take out the spacebar. Just kidding, we'll do space bar last. So for stabs, same concept as what I said in my stab guide. See so if you guys if this shows your stab clips into here, right? So you see those there's two clips there where the plastic clips into the we're sorry where the wire clips into like these two little plastic stabs so you want to apply dielectric grease at those points there um, i have been playing around a lot with 205 grade zero for stabs i have been liking it so i'm gonna try it on topra today see how well it does So I'm going to put dielectric grease, or in my case, 3204 grade zero, just where that little plastic clip is. The Raisin Asian lubed retools are so good, yeah. I still have yet to lube mine. So, okay, you put a little bit there. And then on the actual stab itself, you also want to put, if I clip it in, so this is how the stab goes in there, right? Oh, shoot. So if you look at the stab, all that space where it can be rattling around in there, you just want to try to fill that up as much as possible with dielectric grease, or yeah, dielectric grease. So I'm going to do 205 grade zero today. Just take some, and then fill it up inside. Finally, you can apply some to your wire as well at the points of contact. Okay, and then you clip it into place. some lube on the wire itself. We can't 
see the wire. Sorry. Okay, and then assemble it back together. That should fix any rattling. Hope you were watching whoever asked. I think it was Sudden Zenith who asked. Or was it Yamato 2K? <laughs> Gochi Driver. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for the 1000 bits. I think you're the first bits cheer. You will have a special place in my heart for the first bit donation ever. Thank you so much. I am ma watching. My main problem is the space bar. Okay, yeah, I'll get to the space bar. Let me just do the other shift key. Or sorry, this is the enter key. Gochi driver, hell yeah I am. Took me forever to figure out how to do it too. Oof. Already on that leaderboard as the number one cheerer. Having that cheer badge already. I wonder if people have done a super light coat of lube at the base of the barrel and if it makes any significant difference. What do you mean base of the barrel, Pluto? NGB, wow. Thank you so much for the bits. Second person. <laughs> you missed the first, the spot of first just a little bit. But I will remember you as well as the second bit cheer. <laughs> Number two, yes. Oh, I see you have that badge too now. <laughs> TTY Lurdens. And you found, oh, uh, you watched the Cherry Lube video and you found out about three switch printed switch openers. Order two, nice. Did you order two 3D printed ones or the $60 baller brass option? You got two of indefinite one. Hey, glad you can make it. No, I'm using 205 grade zero for the stabs, but I did use 3204 for the slider, for the actual switches. got two three printed ones the high speed brass ones were too rich for my blood when it came to that yeah same here as well tty alert <laughs> okay space bar 
Um, I forgot, do these come out? No, you don't. So for this, for Topper's the, the space bar, you don't need to pop it out, I think. I generally just drown wherever it actually comes pre-lubed if you can see there's a little bit of grease here already a little bit here as well and inside um, where the spacebar kind of clips in it's already come pre-lubed so just put more of the better lube so right here I'm just applying the electric grease trying to fill up every little crevice there Indefinite one, are all retold Cherry MX housings the same? Yeah, so Cherry did confirm um, on an email via, uh, I think it was to Walker, yeah, that they did in fact change the leaf on tap, no, not tactile, on clicky, er, on clicky switches. Just kidding. Not even sure if it's clicky. It was just confirmed for at least the retold blues. The leaf was made more tactile. So holy chickies are not a meme. I have tried it myself. Definitely not a meme. Pluto 19, you have mod M's and retold blue housings right now. How are you liking that? Yep, so that's it. Just at the points where it already came pre loop, you fill it up. And that should fix. Or actually, what am I? Yeah, it should fix most of the rattle. Okay, so we're finally done lubing. Got to transplant the 55 gram domes off this. A brand new 87U. Another unboxing for you all. So they generally come with um, switched LED indicated caps lock and control keys. Keycap puller here as well. But we are interested in this. The all black 55 gram real force 87U. So for anyone who got normal forces or are waiting on one, maybe this might be a good tutorial too. How do you open an 87U? So there are, I think, eight, no, just kidding. Just these four little tabs on the front. So you need to unclip all of them. You just kind of push on the tab and then, are there more that I'm not aware of? No, I think it's just these four. It's been a while since I opened one up. 
Yeah. And then once you unclip all of them, the top part just kind of comes off. Throw that aside. Um, I don't need to take off the keycaps. Yeah, I just need the dome, so don't need to take off the keycaps. So the PCB just separates, but be careful because the wire is still, the cable is still connected. Um, yeah, let me just unscrew it just to be safe. Oh man, that's in there tight. Uh, JK, I won't. It's in there too tight. And look at all these screws you gotta take off. Sudden Zenith, oh, all right, I tried doing the same thing you did, but you were a little bit more generous. With lube, hopefully that will fix the problem. Hopefully, yeah. Um, with Topra, you can, it is more forgiving with over lubing. Gochi driver, sorry you weren't paying attention. Why are you taking apart the 87U? So these come with 55 gram domes, the HHKB, comes with 45 gram domes. So I'm gonna take the 55 gram domes from here and put it in the HHKB. That is why I am taking this apart. Uh, I'm also just gonna loosen all of these springs first because I don't wanna stress my ES121. Oh no, the music stopped. NGB, <laughs> you did the Series 7? Yeah, what a coincidence. Did you high pro your HHKB? That is the next step you must do if you haven't. Indefinite one rip 87U, yeah. <laughs> 55 gram dome swapping your HHKB is not a, a cheap mod. Go 
Gucci driver. Oh, we sorry. No, uh, Pluto 19. Jesus, burgundy is a really nice red. Yeah, I do. It's uh, it is. It's it is definitely a nice looking key set. Sudden Zenith. Is it not feasible to contact Topra and ask to buy a bunch of 55 gram domes? You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anyone has ever tried doing that. I'm guessing no. But yeah, that is interesting. I don't know. I've never actually considered that. But yeah, PFU is definitely not the easiest company to deal with. <laughs> So now I'm gonna. Did I take off all the screws? Oh, I missed one. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Gonna need more space. Gochi driver, are you gonna do anything with the 87U after you take the domes? Um, I don't know. Should I consider putting it back in? Should I cons? It's not mine. I'm doing this for a customer, so I might just put the 45 gram domes on here. Maybe we'll see. So the nice thing is this middle section. So this is what a real force looks bare. And then these domes just kind of take it off. And then you see all the springs inside. Uh, make sure not to lose these springs. The homie 408, what's your opinion on LZ boards? Ooh, depends on which ones, because LZ does some really funky boards, but he also does some really classic and nice looking boards. So the LZ CLS that I own, I love it. Uh, even more so because it was built with SKCM Blue Alps. But yeah, I love it. I have an LZ Ergo kit that has yet to be built. Um, I'm just waiting for some endgame quality switches to put in it. Just because it's such a nice board. Um, the LZ Iron well, had very polarizing views and opinions in the community. But I, I actually liked the Iron too. I, I thought it was a pretty decent looking board. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely a unique looking board, which I liked as well. So there's that. But yeah, uh, in terms of quality, not the best. I mean, not that LZ boards are bad, but there are definitely other boards that have better anodization as well as machining than LZ, in my opinion. Droke cringed so hard watching you stack the springs like that. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how many springs I need or how many domes I need. Lots. 
Salier, I am each just came back long stream today. Yeah, it is definitely long. But the end of the tunnel is near. Got most of the grunt work out of the way, which was the, lo the lubing and silencing. Yeah, and thank you so much everyone for who's still tuning in. We've been streaming for two hours now. Pluto 19, please don't tangle the Toper Springs. It's okay. I will show you how to unravel them. <laughs> NGB, I almost bought the full size 55 gram Real Force Hype Pro. space I'm just gonna use some random objects I have in my house to elevate the board oh, this is kind of shaky okay, so you gotta align this the domes with the little cutouts that the board has. Indefinite one. Uh, sorry, I know I skipped some. Uh, Pluto nineteen. Oh, Nathan, how's your girlfriend liking her AL one? She's really liking it. She's loving it actually. Yeah, it's her um, first mechanical keyboard that I've built for her and that she's owned. She is loving it, so that's great to hear. <laughs> Indefinite one. How do you feel about HHKB Pro ones? Uh, I did. I've never owned one, but I did try some at meetups, and they definitely feel nice. I would like to own a pro one eventually, but I'm um, just not a top priority for me right now. Pluto nineteen Toblerone, yeah. It's a sneak peek at the new Jane, guys. Now I have to take out all the domes from here. Chenupa, hey, good night. Have a good night. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and the donation as well. Or the, the springs back into each one of these. SA does that mean you won't like high pro no SA and high pro are very different in my opinion I too don't like SA but I love high pro yeah but I mean yeah some people also do genuinely don't like high pro because of how the dishing is but uh, I personally like high pro even though I hate SA
It's undone. Is that 55 gram? 55 gram domes? Yes, they are. At least with normal Topra, the 45 is gray. 55 is black. I transplanted the domes and now I am putting the springs back. Hey, no worry being late to the stream. Uh, Kay Nazi. What kind of mod are you doing, Mr. Nathan Kim? So earlier I silenced the sliders with KBD fans, silence X rings. I then lubed it with Trebosis 3204. Um, I just finished 55 gram doming. HHKB and now I'm putting the springs back on. Quantric, how's the Mr. Sleeves group by going? It's going good. Um, still not. Still haven't. It hasn't sold out, but it's going well. Are you still up, Quantric? Getting pretty late over there. <laughs> TTY Lur Durden's plus one for the use of Mega Toblerone as a stand. Yeah, it has a nice like pointy line for you to place your keyboards right at the edge for. It's a good thing to have. Torasian Asian, I really want to get Topra, but GMK sets keep popping up. Yeah, too many things going on. Too many things going on. Not enough money. No, maybe there should... Maybe like all the keyboard community vendors and whatnot should form some kind of union or something. And then you could only have a set amount of group buys per year. How does that sound? You have to, you have to apply for your product to be able to run a group buy and then only a fixed amount every year. Quantric, uh, sorry, not sellout. I meant a uh, hit MOQ. Okay, so I put all the domes in, just going to make sure that they're all aligned correctly. Um, I just like to go through and tap them with my finger. You can kind of feel and tell when they're sitting flat and nice and even on the dome. Then you also want to make sure that the dome, especially for the stabs, are sitting properly on the cutouts. So otherwise, when you assemble it back together, it's not going to be a fun time. Oosh. Oh, you're on vacation? Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> 
Okay. Looks good and aligned to me. Going to put the P C B back on. Wait, what? Now we assemble it back. You just got the Grid 600 and Metaverse, NGV says. Wow. Um, so I just screwed in the four corners in the middle. You can also just kind of check beforehand to make sure that all the keys are returning properly. That's true, but I mean, sometimes they might not even return, which is bad, so... I be putting my usual shelf liner in the HHKB as well? No, so they provided me with Sorbethane. That is what I will be putting on. What boards are you planning to bring to the NorCal meetup? Ooh, that's a good question. Should I reveal that or keep it a surprise? Sour potato? I cannot tell what that color. Why ever install LEDs into my builds? Um, so I've done a couple with InSwitch LEDs, but not anymore. I do do indicator LEDs if possible, but not InSwitch LEDs. Like 
GG, I think that drop earlier <laughs> affected the domes. Yeah, I gotta reseed it. <laughs> GG. That drop shifted it. I was hoping it didn't. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah, joke you win. You win. I was just praying to the RNG gods that it wouldn't have shifted, but it did. I tried to play it cool when it dropped, but guess it didn't go my way. GMK Toblerone when? <laughs> Droke reseeding Topra is annoying because of the screws, yeah. Luckily the HHKB has less than the real force, so... Not too bad of a problem. Maybe this was you earlier. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I don't have to do this a third time. That was the right shift that screwed me over last time.
Okay. Hopefully it doesn't drop this time. It's the con of using the Toblerone. I'm not going to use the uh, ES121 because that requires me to kind of put in the screws at an angle, so. Sir Penser, would you sign my board if I brought it to the Bay Area meetup? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want my signature on your board though. But I'm glad to hear that you are able to make it to this, the North County. Are you traveling, Serpent Sir, or are you local to the Bay Area? Okay, yeah, glad to hear lo you're local. GG, I dropped again. <laughs> uh, I had more screws than this time, hopefully. <laughs> that didn't screw anything over. Homie 408, who are your favorite keyboard designers? Ooh. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I should use books next time, Drog. Just um, don't have any on hand right now. I normally don't use these. It's, it also doesn't help that they're not level. <laughs> the Toblerone mountain is too high. Um, my favorite board designers, let's see, Duck, LZ, I pretty much like all the big name ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, Duck, LZ, TGR, Quantrick. Um, I've been liking Elaine, or Cat Weebie's new stuff.
It's the same shift. I don't think it's a it's a it's a shifting matter. I think there's something wrong with the stab. I think I might have put the the stab in wrong. I don't think it's a dome thing. It's just literally the same left shift. But it's okay. I will fix that later. I will reopen it, reopen this up myself, and fix it later. Stream is getting a bit long, so let's try to get this done as fast as possible. So before screwing it on, you want to clip the daughter board in first. So that will make screwing it on easier. Bash 001 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you could join the stream. Yeah, I must have installed the stab row. I don't think it's the, the dome's problem. NGB, is there a Hasu for real force? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to take the spring out just for now, at least for the sound test. I'm not going to throw it away, but I don't like how it makes the rattling sound sometimes. Mr. Cecil, you love how the left shift is tilting you so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Especially considering I don't use left shift.
Generic draft. 안녕하세요, Nathan. I got on from the East Coast. It's 2:30. What modification are you doing to the HHKB? Oh wow, 2:30. Why are you up at 2:30? Um, I silenced them with KBD fans. Silence X domes. Uh, lubed it with Trebosis 3204. And then 55 gram dome swapped. That is what I did. Oh no, the music stopped. I lied, it didn't stop. Shift. <laughs> but for the sake of cutting the stream early, I will fix that left shift later since I don't use left shift. Alright, so we are done. All the mods. At least check if all the keys register. So here we go. Like everything registers. Uh, I forgot. I'll won't do the dip switches now. Just one quick. Can't end a NK s stream without a ten fast. Oh crap! Fingers typing test. Uh, if I could bring it up. There we go. Okay. Turn off the music. We still have 34 viewers left behind. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. I will have to fix the left shift off stream. And I think I installed the actual stab itself incorrectly, not the dome. <laughs> Happened twice. But um, yeah, so these were lewd with Trebosis 3204, silenced with KBD fans Silence X, and um, what was it? Uh, 55 gram dome swapped and here is what it sounds like oh 
Whoops. Oh, also, wrong scene. <laughs> I should do it here. Yes. Uh, why does it look like that? Because of the dip switch, I don't have delete GG. Not the best run, but I um, couldn't backspace, so that threw me off. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. First sound test, and that was this is how I mod my Topra. Okay, let's catch up on chat. Mr. Cecil, I never realized how serious of an invert that spacebar is on an HHKB. Yeah, it's pretty flipped. Sudden Zenith sounds like mine, but faster. Um, Topra is bay, definitely. Sir Penser. One of my friends recommended Crytox 106 for Topra. Topra, you can definitely use some of the thicker stuff out there. Xbash 001. I don't even have a mech keyboard and I love the stream. <laughs> hey, glad you could join and enjoy the stream. Um, you should join the hobby. A lot of us out there. Um, Astrasa, thank you so much for the follow. The Asian Asian LMAO, now I'm actually working on GMK Toblerone. Really? Is that what I missed with all the Imager, Imager links you guys were li linking around? Generic Giraffe, what's the best way to lube Alps stabs? I always just used a dab of dielectric grease and I could never get it all smooth and nice too. Um, yeah, I also just use dielectric grease. Um, you want to lube, have lube in the little two clips that clip onto the plate, um, as well as the the two clips on the actual the keycap itself. Just fill that empty space up with dielectric grease. Maybe in a future Alps build, I can actually show what I do for stabs because I couldn't show it in my Duck Orion build, but that is what I do. Astrasa accidentally unfollowed while trying to turn my notifications on <laughs> thank you for following back also didn't realize there was a bay area meetup plan so thanks for the heads up yes november 10th um please put that on your calendars everyone if you plan on attending um a lot of us are gonna be coming a lot of us a lot of people are gonna be coming what is that sour potato how are the cream switches so far they are really good i still haven't lubed them but they are a really nice stock switch at the moment S 
Salier IMH. Very nice stream. Thank you. When's the next one? Um, probably Saturday. I plan on doing at least Saturdays consistently. And then one other time sometime during the week like this late at night. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for now. I do have a lot of builds lined up, so yeah. The Rajan Asian. Okay, let me see this GMK Toblerone you linked. Oh man, <laughs> that is very yellow. <laughs> this is the inspiration for it, everyone. GMK Toblerone. Where did my mouse go? GMK Toblerone. NGB, you're in New York, so you won't be going. Uh, that's a shame. Would have liked to meet you in person. Generics draft. Any thoughts on the UEK? Uh, it's a nice board. Um, the price point, very tempting. Um, it'll definitely be on the more affordable side of customs. Um, yeah, I'll have to see the actual proto or like actual. I think he's only had 3D printed one. I forgot if it was 3D printed or if it was an acrylic laser cut one. But yeah, I would like to see like an actual aluminum version of it. But I do like the aesthetics. GMK McDonald's, yeah. It does. It Definitely McDonald's comes to mind first more than Toblerone does. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, once again, GMK Mr. Sleeves going on. Please go check that out as well, guys. Um, there is just a little under a month left. Uh, a little under a month. Yeah, it's, it's ending on September 21st, so plenty of time to save up and join that group by if you guys are interested. Um, NorCal Meetup is going on, or NorCal Meetup is going to happen November 10th. Keep that in your calendars. Next stream will probably be on Saturday. I'm going to guess I will probably stream a little before dinner time as well. Same as last week. So that is scheduled for now. Um, if you guys check the about page on my Twitch channel, there I have a link to all the social media platforms that I'm currently on, with the new one being my Discord server. Uh, it's mostly to handle build services, but anyone's more than welcome to hang out there as well. Um, as, like I also said in the uh, Twitch title, I did become an affiliate recently, so if you guys feel like subbing or donating bits, I can accept that now, and I would appreciate it a lot, but up to you guys. <laughs> Sudden Zenith, thank you for the stream. Thank you for staying for all three hours <laughs> and GB you'll join the discord you want to see how it turns out <laughs> yeah it's a little dead I mean it's not meant for I didn't mean to make it so that to replace any other like existing discords out there and I don't think it's going to get big it's mostly for me to handle um, build services since it's hard to track PMs because I get so many of them so it's a lot easier for me to just make a private server with my customer, chat through them there so I don't have to dig through a bunch of uh, private messages on Discord. But yeah, I mean, people are chatting there. We have some discussions. Who knows, maybe in the f future I might do some Discord-only giveaways or whatnot. So yeah, definitely join and feel free to hang out there. Generics Giraffe, Charajayo, thank you. Um, good night to you as well. Generic draft. The real purpose for NK Discord is K-pop swap. <laughs> yeah. All right. NGB. Good night. Thank you, everyone who was tuning in, and see you guys on Saturday. See you, nerds.